are you afraid to start tapering off of Xanax and get onto another medication? Look no further. I'm here to help you. There's no reason to be afraid. So first and foremost, you need to advocate for yourself and find a really good doctor that's going to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. A doctor that's going to listen to you, work with you, allow you to share with them how you're feeling and adjust your dosages accordingly to how you're doing, okay? It's really important that you and this doctor have a good line of communication because they're going to be the one who is managing this taper. Once you find a doctor that's willing to work with you and willing to listen, okay, and willing to say, willing to hear you say, hey doc, this isn't working, can we pause? Can we stop? Can we do this? Can we do that? Because if they are not willing to listen and their head is too big, their ego is too big, that they think that they're right about everything, you might not have an, an, a good time tapering. You need to have a doctor that will work with you, that will ease, give, give, okay? You know how you, when you sit down on something, it's got a good little cushion in? That's what you need with a, a physician, a doctor that's going to work with, with, with what you've got going on, okay? Once you find a doctor that will work with you, then your job as the patient is to work your hardest to stay as positive as you can about this process. You also need to stop. Stop looking up other people's experiences. Stop reading the stories or the videos of people who are sharing their bad experiences or overly good experiences because what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure because you're comparing your journey. Automatically, without even knowing it, you're comparing your experience to that person's experience. Why are they having an easier time than me? Why are they having a harder time than me? Am I going to feel that way? What if I experience that side effect? You have to stop doing that. You are working against yourself when you are doing that. How do I know this? Because I answer 1-800 number for Dr. B. And I talk to probably 5 to 10 people a day that are coming off of benzodiazepines who are torturing themselves by watching other people's experience. And they are literally setting themselves up. They are making the symptoms that they see on video happen in their own lives by freaking themselves out with their own anxiety. I see it every day. So you got to trust the process. You got to put your hands in the air and allow your higher power, whatever that may be, God, Buddha, Allah, the universe, nature, and your doctor to help guide you on that process. And you have to be positive and set yourself up for success. Do things that will help you in this process. Eating whole foods, drinking plenty of water, staying hydrated, taking your vitamin C's, doing your self-care, taking walks outside and getting in the fresh air. All these things are going to help you to be a better patient and have a better experience when you're going through the taper process. Look what happened to me. I was able to successfully come off of two medications at the same time, Wellbutrin and Lexapro, that I had been on for over six years. And I was able to do it because I set myself up for success. I did not watch any videos of other people's experiences. I didn't ask around. I stayed focused on staying positive, staying hydrated, staying in a good mental headspace. And now it's been 90 days. I have been off of those two meds for 90 days now. And I'm feeling great. I haven't had any problems since I came off my mental health meds, have I, Neil? Mm -mm, no, no, no crazy outbursts, no anything. And so I know if I can come off those two medications that I was on for over six years, I know any of you guys can do the same. I also came off of benzodiazepines, and I was on benzos for over 13 years. Now, the way that I came off of benzos was not the right way. I was caught with them in treatment and they ripped them out from underneath me and I did not have them. And so I went through about two weeks of not sleeping, okay, where I was just like barely getting three hours of sleep while I was in treatment. But I pushed through. When I got out of treatment, I pushed through. I didn't watch other people's experiences. I was so focused on getting custody of my son back that that was a distraction and that helped me stay the course. So no matter what you do, fill your mind with positive things. Distract yourself with things that can help you do better and you will be successful in that taper.